What do you think the hottest kitchen trends are for 2024 here in the South Bay, Los Angeles? Oh, granite counters. Yeah. If you live in the beach cities, including Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Redondo Beach, or if you're thinking about remodeling your kitchen, you know, you need to know that kitchen styles, they change quickly around here. So let's get right into it. That's so hot right now. I have an absolute favorite style that will never go out of style, and I'll share that one at the end. So hang in with me and my quirky likes and dislikes, but it'll be worth it because if you ever design or redesign a kitchen, you'll want to copy me. Why would I want to? First off, bold and vibrant colors are making waves in kitchens lately. We're seeing less and less of these all white kitchens that used to be, you know, dominating the scene. But instead, think deep blues, rich greens, and even pops of red on cabinets, walls, and backsplashes. Homeowners and designers in the South Bay seem to be ready to make a statement, and color is leading the charge. I kind of like the red one. But be careful. Ask yourself, who are you wanting to please? Yourselves or your pushy designer or possible buyer a few years from now if you sell the house? So if you go way out, say greens, oranges, yellows, reds even, you may encounter difficulty selling your house later because not everyone likes your choices. It's like wallpaper. Well, I just say, just don't do wallpaper, okay? It's easy to buy, expensive to pay your designer for, design ideas, you know, and the install, and even more expensive to take down. It's usually a resale nightmare because not everyone loves your shiny blue wallpaper with flamingos drinking martinis, you know, when you're ready to sell. How do you really feel? Next up, eco-friendly materials are being seen more and more lately with Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach being, you know, a bit more environmentally conscious. We're seeing more and more homeowners using recycled glass countertops, bamboo cabinets, yeah, they're a thing, as well as other sustainable materials. And some people are looking to lower their, you know, lower their carbon footprint while they're still achieving a modern stylish look. So if you're choosing that confetti countertop, the one that recycled glass, enjoy it. Expect to replace it when you sell your house later. Although it looks fun, it's probably not gonna be a hot commodity in the resale market, just so you know. Now, aren't you kind of a buzzkill? I thought it was And you know what else is hot? Smart kitchens. So hot right now. Integrated technology is huge right now. I'm seeing more and more homes come with voice-activated appliances and interactive cooktops. They're smart, they are organized. Imagine preheating your oven with just a voice command or on an app on your way home from the store. Or the best one is when your fridge is nagging you to order groceries. I mean, who doesn't love hearing from your fridge once in a while? I need milk and cookies. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> okay. The future is here and it's making our kitchen smarter and a little more convenient and also way more creepy. Now, if you love having your friends over, this trend is for you. Beverage stations. Now that's something I can really get into. Whether you are a coffee aficionado, go on, or you'd love to entertain guests, having a dedicated beverage area is both practical and luxurious. I mean, we're seeing these pop up here in the beach cities, especially since it keeps guests away from the main kitchen while you're prepping meals, you know? And speaking of entertaining, outdoor kitchens are a must here in Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach. With our amazing weather, why not just extend your kitchen to outdoors? Outdoor beverage stations, grills, cozy seating areas make for perfect entertaining, you know, while keeping that ocean breeze flowing. When it comes to style, decorative range hoods are kind of in again. Whether they're made from wood or stainless steel or a mix of materials, starting to see some range hoods, they're becoming like a focal point in modern kitchens across the South Bay LA. And also don't be afraid to mix your metal finishes, brass and black or stainless steel and matte. Mixing metals adds texture and style to your kitchen. Initially I didn't like it, but now it's growing on me. Really posh kitchen, all metal. Okay, let's talk about what's out. The farmhouse kitchen trend is on its way out, please, here in the beach cities. Unless you've got an actual farm on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, this style's feeling a bit dated, even that farmhouse sink. Because especially in our coastal homes, we don't really want that. There's a farmhouse right there. Instead, we're looking for modern, clean, bold lines. That's what's taking over right now. Oh, that there, that, uh, that's an- Farm sink. Plus, we're not doing dark flooring anymore, okay? They show every footprint and all the dirt and dust on the floor. Blech. And another trend that's fading fast, thank goodness, this is the all-white kitchen. People are moving towards more color like we talked about already. You know, they want that in their kitchen. Hey, that reminds me, how do you keep a house warm? I don't know, you turn on the heater, you open the blinds. No, you paint it with two coats. 
Plus, stainless steel appliances are being replaced with cabinet panel ready designs that blend seamlessly into the cabinetry, you know, for a sleek unified look, which I don't hate. Um, unless you're at someone's house desperately trying to find the trash can. Another two things to stop immediately, open shelving. Ugh. If you're like me and you cook and there's no cabinet doors, everything will get greasy and dusty on all those shelves. You can never keep your wine glasses clean when they're out in the open. And two, stop putting chandeliers in the kitchen. Who does that? First, see number one, dirty all the time. And two, again, if you cook, you need light. Lots of it on the island, at the sink, under the stove, under the counters. I have an old kitchen. I have these under counter LEDs. They're very helpful for getting light under the counter. Oh, what are you, some kind of secret genius? If you're planning to remodel your kitchen here in the South Bay, think bold, eco-friendly, and tech forward. And remember, trends move fast in Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, if you haven't noticed. So it's all about staying ahead of the curve while creating a timeless space that works for you and your lifestyle. Just be careful when using a lot of color like I told you. Okay, there are a lot of primary colors. There you go again. Getting us all excited about color and then telling us not to use it. What else are you gonna bitch about, Daryl? And here's the secret for me. In the last kitchen we did, we had all drawers and the only cupboards were above the counter. From the counter below, it was floor up drawers. Big drawers, middle drawers. Imagine not having to get on your hands and knees to find that bowl or pan lid or the blender or whatever. Glorious drawers. Get them. It's my favorite. It is? Hey, if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe for, you know, more home design tips and South Bay real estate highlights and insight. First, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite kitchen trend? Is it color, texture, or a certain type of material? Oh, and one more thing. And if you like this video, you're gonna like that one right there. So click it.